ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream! With our September recipe box, we're teaching you how to make candles using essential oils. And this candle recipe is a super fun take on your traditional candle, making it look good enough to eat. And from your recipe box, you'll grab your labels, soy wax, braided cotton wick, and the oils in this box are coffee and cinnamon. Okay, and then from your big bonus box, you're gonna wanna grab your beeswax and your solid coconut oil. From your home, you'll wanna grab a votive-sized candle holder, and you'll also need a double boiler. And an ice cream scooper if you wanna make this extra fun. Right here we have a double boiler. If you don't have a little pan like this, you can also use a glass measuring cup. We're gonna put our ingredients in here to gently melt them. You can also do this in the microwave using short intervals. First, we're gonna add one ounce of soy wax in your recipe box. You get two ounces in the bag, so it'll be about half the bag or a little bit over a third of a cup. Next, we're gonna add a tablespoon of beeswax and half a tablespoon of coconut oil. So we're gonna take this over to the stove top to melt. We'll set this in a pan of hot water so that it will gently melt. So now that it's melted, we're gonna add 20 drops of each of these oils. And these oils do work really well with candles. Expect a slightly more subtle scent than um, you would with an artificial fragrance, but this is more natural. And if you notice your wax is starting to solidify before you're finished adding oils, you can always place it back on the heat until it's just melted, and then keep adding your oils. All right, so now that that's melted, we're going to use a little bit of that hot wax to secure our wick in the middle of our container. And then we're gonna fill it part way with this melted wax. So we're gonna let this wax cool until it is somewhat solid but still moldable. Like if you poke it, if it's safe to poke, it'll leave a finger mark in it. That's the consistency we want. So we're gonna let this cool and let's put some popsicle sticks or pencils or something similar to keep this centered. If you're looking to make a larger version of this or just make your own candles, we do have the wax for sale on our website. So you can go to simplyearth.com and make a whole bunch of these or just add to this one. So now that this has hardened, I'm gonna press it and you can see that it leaves a mark where I left my finger. This is the consistency we want because we can kind of mold it into the shape we want. If you've got an ice cream scoop at home, that works great. So a tablespoon also works well for this. So we're going to use a spoon, scoop up the wax until it gets into a pretty ice cream shape. So I'm gonna poke a little hole with, you can do this with a toothpick or a skewer, or you can even try the whip. So I've got a hole in it. Now I'm gonna thread it through my wick into the candle. And if you don't like how your scoop turned out, you can always remelt that wax and try again. Or like I mentioned, you can just fill it up the rest of the way if you just want a candle. So now our candle is cool, so we're gonna trim the wick to a quarter of an inch. And it's ready to use. Some candle makers like to let the essential oil and wax cure for a week, feel free to do that. Or you can, use, and that can help make the smell a little stronger. Um, but you can also just use it right away. Here's one that I made yesterday in a jar that looks more like an ice cream sundae, which is really fun. And using a label from this month's recipe box. So for more recipes just like this, head to simplyearth.com and hit that subscribe now button. Thanks for watching. See you later. I think they could cut it off before I wave. Okay, I don't bye. know why I just... <laughs>